hey guys today we'll be talking about the posterior tibial artery which is the main artery of the back of the leg and this is a posterior view of the leg that is <clears throat> a deep dissection of the back of the leg in which the superficial muscles the gastrocnemius and the soleus have been removed with the gastrocnemius and the soleus intact this is the posterior view but with these two muscles removed we can see the neurovasculature right so this uh, this part over here is the popliteal fossa right and in the popliteal fossa we have the popliteus muscle and we have this over here which is the tibial artery at the lower border of the popliteus this my friends is a popliteus muscle which is considered as a muscle as a deep muscle of the back of the leg the tibial artery divides into its terminal branches this one is the anterior which we will not which has been cut and which is not of consequence in this video and this my friends is the posterior tibial artery and the posterior tibial artery is in between the tibia and the fibula over here we have the tibia over here we have the fibula now the posterior tibial artery passes downwards and slightly medially and then reaches basically the midway point between this part over here which is the medial malleolus a part of the tibia and this my friends is the calcaneum that is the bone of the heel and so basically it reaches midway between the medial malleolus and the tubercle which is located somewhere over here right so this is important this is a intermediate dissection in which the gastrocnemius has been cut but this soleus has not been removed we can see over here that this over here is still the tibial artery and the tibial artery divides into anterior and posterior somewhere over here and the posterior tibial artery passes into the back of the leg by going deep to the structure over here which is termed as a tendinous arch of the soleus muscle Again, I will repeat. This is the soleus muscle. This is the tendon of the plantaris, and this is the tendinous arch. So this is. These are some basics. I will go over these again. So where does the uh, posterior tibial artery begin? And my apologies. The answer that the mother artery is not the tibial artery. It's the popliteal artery of the popliteal fossa. I accidentally called it as the tibial artery. So the posterior tibial artery, it begins at the lower border of the popliteus. This is the popliteus, and in over here we have the popliteal artery. So the posterior tibial artery begins at the lower border of the popliteus, deep to the gastrocnemius and the soleus. I hope I have kind of like emphasized that part enough, right? So it begins at the lower border of the popliteus as a terminal branch of the popliteal artery of the popliteal fossa, right? And it's located, the, the posterior tibial artery is located midway between the tibia and the fibula deep to the gastrocnemius and the soleus, right? It enters the back of the leg by passing deep to the tendinous arch of the soleus this over here this my friends is a popliteal artery so what about in the leg in the leg it runs downwards and slightly medially because this is lateral and this is medial and this is definitely a bit more medial than you know center and then it reaches the posterior medial side of the ankle that is medial and the posterior side of the ankle that is about here and at this point it is midway between the medial malleolus and the medial tubercle of the calcaneum so the flexor retinaculum is located has its attachment on the medial malleolus um, its posterior border and tip to be exact and the calcaneum that is its medial tubercle so it basically terminates beneath that is deep to the flexor retinaculum um, by dividing into two arteries, the lateral and the medial plantar. An important thing is that the flexor retinaculum is also the origin of the abductor halluses. 
So this termination also happens deep to the abductor hallucis muscle. So hoping this was abundantly clear and that you didn't miss out anything. So if we talk about the relations and I do think they're pretty cl clear over here, superficial. In the upper two thirds, uh, as we previously talked, it lies deep to the gastrocnemius and the soleus and also the superficial transverse facial septa. And the superficial transverse facial septa is the one that divides the superficial muscles that is the gastrocnemius and the soleus. So it should be easy to remember that there are three structures that are basically superficial to it. You might say that are deep to it and there's my apologies that are posterior to it. This is what superficial means in this regard. Right, in the low one third of the leg, this is the upper two thirds, right? And in the upper two thirds, the structures that are posterior to it include the gastrocnemius, the soleus, and the superficial transverse septa. In the low one third region over here, it kind of becomes superficial because at this part, the posterior tibial artery is parallel to the tendocalcaneus and is even a bit anterior to it, meaning it's kind of deep to it, right? Runs parallel to and 2.5 centimeters in front of what? In front of the medial border of the teldocalcaneum. This is the medial part and this is the lateral, so medial border. And at this point, it is covered by just the skin and the fascia. This is an interesting diagram if you have netters it's good that you see over here at the level of the ankle it lies deep to the flexor retinaculum and the abductor hallucis right hopefully these are good for you to help you get the understanding of the relations and the deep relations that are basically anterior to it so in the upper two thirds of the leg that is to say, again, in this part, this, my friends, is the artery and this, my friends, is the tibialis posterior. So in the upper two thirds, in this portion, it lies on the tibialis posterior, but in the lower part, as you can see, this is the extensor digitorum longus. My apologies, the flexor digitorum longus, so it's basically lying on it in the lower part. Right? Also, as you can see, this is the tibia and in this part the tibia is not covered by the muscles right obviously if the gastrocnemius was over there it would be covering it but there is nothing in between the artery and the tibia so in the lower one third it's lying both on the extensor digitorum longus and part of it is lying directly on the tibia right and at the level of the ankle, it's lying on the capsule of the ankle joint between the flexor digitorum longus and the flexor hallucis longus. This is the flexor digitorum longus, right? And this is the flexor hallucis longus. So at this level, it's lying directly on the ankle joint in between these two muscles. Now, if we talk about the arteries, the most important artery over here is the peroneal artery, which is the biggest branch of the posterior tibial artery. And the peroneal artery is kind of like the artery of the lateral compartment via perforating branches, but we won't be considering this in this video. And we have this peroneal artery. We have a lot of muscular branches. For over here, we can see a benefit. In addition to this, we have a lot of anastomotic branches of all things. For example, over here, you can see this arch and this arch is formed between a communicating branch from the posterior tibial artery and its branch, the peroneal artery. So you have a communicating branch that is located about 5 centimeters above the ankle joint. So this is interesting. We also have anastomotic branches that are given over the medial malleolus. And these anastomos with arteries in the region over the medial malleolus. We also have calcaneal branches, right, over here, and these basically anastomos with branches of this part. 
and in addition to this we have a circumflex fibular branch which kind of goes to the anterior in order for it to partake in anastomosis but it's not given in this diagram we also have terminal branches because at the level of the flexitorum termination into the lateral and the medial plantar artery takes place i'm hoping this was of help to you if it was please like subscribe and leave a comment